A bonded sand system consists primarily of silica sand, a binder, and other additives. The binder is a material that binds the sand aggregates and gives a rigid shape to the mold. Depending on the binder used, the bonded sand system is classified as a green sand system or a chemically bonded sand system. A green sand system uses clay and water to bind the sand aggregates, whereas a chemically bonded sand system uses chemical binders and hardeners to bind the sand aggregates. The following factors need to be considered when identifying a suitable bonded sand system for manufacturing a casting. The type of casting. To cast small components such as automotive parts and pumps, a foundry chooses the green sand system. And to cast large components such as truck cylinder heads, machine tool bases, and steel valves, a foundry chooses the chemically bonded sand system. The number of castings required. To produce a large number of castings, typically 50 to 200 castings per hour, the green sand system is preferred. And to produce a lesser number of castings, typically 5 to 50 castings per day, the chemically bonded sand system is preferred. The weight of the casting. To produce a low weight casting, typically up to 350 kilograms, the green sand system is preferred, and the chemically bonded sand system has no weight limitations. The dimensional accuracy and surface finish. In a green sand system, the dimensional accuracy and surface finish is lower when compared to a chemically bonded sand system. The capital investment. The capital investment required to set up a green sand system is high and low for a chemically bonded sand system. The molding cost. The cost of mold production is low for a green sand system and high for a chemically bonded sand system. The sand reusability. The reusability of sand in a green sand system is high and typically 95% of it can be recycled. The reusability of sand in a chemically bonded sand system depends on the binder chemistry. The reusability is as low as 0% when no reclamation system is available and as high as 95% when a reclamation system is available. The manpower required. The manpower required for a green sand system is high and it is lower for a chemically bonded sand system. Based on the binder used, a chemically bonded sand system can be further classified as an organic binder system or an inorganic binder system.